Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isoa for Isoa Gallery and I post videos relating to photography, lifestyle, visuals, reviews, travel and more. When you get a chance, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment and share. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a quick nail blue tutorial on how I did these nails. Um, yeah, I had two other videos on a detailed tutorial so you can go watch that one and another one on removing the dip powder So I'm still using my nail blue dip powders and I've been enjoying it since the last time I did that video That's like months ago. So I'm just doing another one. This is like a mint color But yeah, I'll show you when I'm doing it Let's go through all the items from the nail blue kit. That's the bill powder and the color is called modern mint that's the dip powder that we're going to use today. That's the base, number one. That's the activator, number two. And that's the top, number three. That's a top coat. So this is the file I'm going to use as a hard file for my nails. And a brush that came with the kit as well. Just going to clean up my nails after filing with the lint wipes. So I'm just filing my nails. I mean, I already did that before starting this. I'm just gonna clean off all the excess particles. So I'm gonna start with the base. So basically you start with the base and you can do like two coats of the base with the bill powder. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So you dip each finger after you put the base into the dip powder, into the build powder. So I realized here that I could actually do each finger or all fingers before dipping. Sometimes you can do each finger then dip, but I just want to make it fast. I decided to do all fingers, then just dip, 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 dip. <laughs> And then use the brush to remove all the excess powder. I'm doing the same thing with another base and build powder. And then after that, use the same base, that's number one, in order to do the color. In this particular case, I did three coats. So you can make a decision on how many coats you want to do, depending on how the color is and how like deep the color is. I felt that this mint color wasn't as deep, so that's why I used three coats. But I think I should have used two coats because the more coats you use, the deeper or the harder the dip powder will be. And the, and the harder the dip powder, the harder it will be to file off all the excess powder at the end before putting in the top. So in this particular video, I did the mint color with three coats. You can do two coats. I think next time I'll do two coats. So I use the brush to brush off all the excess powder. That's the base again. And that's what I use for the mint color. So that's, I'm going to start the second coat now. I mean, it's not that hard, it's just easy as long as you just sit down and just focus and you'll be done with it. Third coat. Okay, so we're done with the build powder and the color. So the next step is to use the activator. That's number two. The activator basically hardens the powder even further. And I use just one coat of the activator. So 
So you do that for each finger. And then once you're done with the activator, you wait for a few minutes to let it dry. So in this case, while waiting, I decided to do my other hand. So I started with the other hand now, same thing I did with the first hand. Now it's time to file my nails. I'm also going to use the nail drill. I used that in the two videos that I initially posted. And this nail drill has really helped. I'll put the links of all the products I use in the description. So I use the, nail, the file, the hard file first, and then if I feel I need to further file these nails, I'll use a nail drill. So the nail drill basically kind of levels the powder, the hardened powder, just to kind of give it a more level shape. So I try my best to do that in this particular case. So once I'm done fouling, I will wash my hands with no soap. So basically rinse and then dry. So after washing, it's time to put the top coat. It's number three. I do that for each finger. Basically, you can do one coat. Um, that works for these nails. And then what you just do is, after you put all the coats on all each finger, just sit down for five minutes. Don't do anything, and it will just dry up without any problems. If you tamper with it, then that's when there may be a problem and you have to redo it. Yeah, it looks so pretty when the top coat is put on. It just has a shiny effect. Oh, it looks nice. Wow. Pretty. So right now I'll be using the cuticle oil, link in description as well. Ooh, happy. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> I had a fun time i mean yeah it didn't take too long i mean even filming this whole thing took less than an hour so it's really not that bad as you continue getting used to it i'm still not perfect but i am still going to rock my nails i'm still shiny i'm still shiny <laughs> rocking my nails i actually love this mint color so i'm going to keep this for normally it lasts me two weeks two and a half weeks if i'm bored i'll take it out and look for another color <laughs> There's so many colors of Nilbu. Still not sponsored. Hopefully Nilbu will get the gist and sponsor me. There's so many kits out there on Amazon and everywhere. And whatever it is that I see on Amazon, I'll link below in my description. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. When you get a chance, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment and share. And remember, always remember to let your cup Run it over. Bye.